Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is John Vine and what we're going to be talking about today are some of the reasons why programming is so difficult. Now obviously, you know, programming is very difficult technically. It's one of those skills, right, where, that require you to put in a lot of time and effort for a very consistent amount of time and for a very long amount of time to actually get good at it. And so why you might think that the reason it's so hard is because coding is actually very difficult or there's like math involved and stuff like that. What I've come to find is that the biggest reason programming is so difficult is because of your mindset and your own doubts, right? Most of the time is due to your own limiting beliefs in your head. And so that's kind of what I wanted to talk about in today's video. If you're new to the channel, what we do here is to talk about programming and how you guys can become software engineers. If that is one of your goals, I try to use my experience to give you guys some tips to make reaching your goals that much easier. If you like the content, feel free to like and subscribe. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. So guys, when it comes to programming, in my opinion, the reason why so many people find it so hard is that you get in your own head and you start kind of start doubting yourself when you're coding. And so eventually what happens is you just end up giving up because you either have imposter syndrome, so you think you're not good enough, you either contribute to a lot of self-loathing, so you know you, you might be coding and then you mess up and you're like, yeah, you know what, I should have never tried this, um, I knew I shouldn't have tried this, and you have these kind of reaffirming thought, negative thoughts in your head. And all this kind of stuff really makes it harder than it has to be, right? Coding is already something that is gonna take you a long time to learn. It's gonna take you months on end of you know dedicating time during the day when you're already working, you're already doing other things. And so having these negative thoughts and these negative beliefs really doesn't do much for you. You know, I had, I really had these feelings of imposter syndrome and all this kind of stuff a lot in college. And since then, you know, I've really gone more confident and have been able to stop having these thoughts and kind of just focus on my own confidence. And so guys, one of the things that I would recommend if you're having these kind of thoughts, and if you're kind of doubting yourself, is you just have to keep pushing through it. And the, you're always gonna have these kind of thoughts that you're not good enough or that you, should, you shouldn't be doing this, like you shouldn't be coding, you know, you're not smart enough, whatever. But if you just ignore them and just kind of keep pushing them, then eventually, you know, you're gonna gain more confidence and realize that these thoughts never really kind of go away. And all you can do is just gain more confidence in yourself. And how, how can you do that? By just coding and getting better at coding. One of the best things about programming is that it's gonna make all of these weaknesses very, very obvious, right? There's gonna come a time when you're programming, you're sitting down, and every time that you start coding, you know, you're gonna run into some sort of problem, right? That's just the nature of programming. There's gonna be some sort of bug or something's not gonna be working properly. And sometimes it's gonna be, you know, a bit more frustrating. And in these times of coding, when it's you're not gonna be able to figure it out, you're gonna have spent an hour or two and it's kind of just very frustrating. You're really gonna see who you really are, right? You're gonna really see how you react under pressure, how you react when you can't find a solution and when there's really something difficult to do. And that's the beauty of programming. It's gonna, it's, it's gonna show you yourself and it's gonna give you, you know, it's gonna show you your weaknesses. And so you can either um, just give up, just quit and say, you know what? Yeah, this is too hard or I'm not good enough. Or you can look at, your, look at these weaknesses and just, you know, keep pushing. Uh, know that they exist and just know that you're you know you're able to overcome them right because if you don't do that then once you quit and you go do something else then those weaknesses are just going to appear again when when that thing you're trying to learn becomes very frustrating or becomes very hard right and so if you can just keep pushing the other beautiful part about programming is that it literally gives you instant feedback on whether what you're trying to do works or doesn't work or if it's worth it or whatever it is if you're doing something you literally get instant feedback from your computer and so what you can do is just keep pushing forward keep trying out different things if there's a problem you can't solve just keep going at it and eventually you will solve it and that is gonna give you such a confidence boost um, and it's gonna do be so much better uh, for you than what you would have done if you had just quit and you know given up and started on something else, right? So guys, there will be times when you doubt yourself. There's gonna be times when you're gonna wonder, should I keep coding? Like, is this even worth it? And these times when that happens is like the most important and the most crucial times when you have to actually keep going and keep pushing through. And then, you know, if you just keep doing this, you spend enough time doing it, you're gonna get better, you're gonna get good enough, and you're gonna reach your goals. So I think that is the biggest reason why, you know, people find coding so difficult. Maybe from the outside looking in, it could you might think that it's actually coding, like learning the syntax of a language, just, you know, learning all this like technical stuff. But, you know, that kind of stuff can come with practice. What was something that doesn't always necessarily come with practice is, you know, how to get over these thoughts in your head and the mental side of it. And so, yeah, 
that's just kind of uh, based on my own perspective, um, what, I, what I think is the biggest reason why a lot of people fail and a lot of people find coding difficult. And so, yeah, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, as always, if you like the content, feel free to like and subscribe. Also, feel free to leave a comment down below if you think there's um, anything I missed or if you, you just want to add something to the conversation. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.